SSTO from scratch. I had my son. Um, he's upstairs now starting his nap, so if you hear any screaming, it's probably not him. At this point, the screaming would be me. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to... This thing is... I don't think it's going to work, but I'm just trying to get the center of gravity forward. You know, um, and this, this is probably not going to work. But this is what I'm trying. So I want to add some reaction wheels to this um, big old honkers. Hold Alt, okay. Alt, again, again, okay. So now we advanced reaction wheel. Okay. Um, so we got those. I've already got some batteries. I don't think there's much I'm going to be putting in here. I could. Well, do I want to go with the whole Isru drill? I don't think I'm going to do that yet. I don't even know if this thing's going to get to orbit, but. The, the main thing is I'm trying to get this big fuel tank. I want to have something that can get that up there. I've had like no success yet with SSTOs. I've gotten up to orbit, deployed my uh, payload, but I've never managed to come back and land in one piece. How about that? Um, so I'm going to start trying to add wings here. Um, get these way back about there. And so yeah, all my engines are ahead of the wing. But the problem is this center of lift is so friggin' far back, I'm probably gonna have almost zero control. You know, um, but whatever. So I'm gonna, is that the right symmetry? Yes. Now I'm gonna turn off snap. Holding alt, grab that, pop that. By the way, I hope you realize this is not how wings work in real life. You can't just quite stack them like this. Just doesn't work that way. I know biplanes kind of. Oh, wrong thing. Um, but this really doesn't work. But in KSP it does, so. I still love the game. The orbital mechanics are much, much better than the, uh, the aero, which is to be expected, by the way. I mean, nobody can really run real-time simulation. All right, I've got to get some angle onto all these to uh, produce lift without having to have angle of attack. With, with you know, the main craft, you know, I want to have uh, the wings have the angle of attack. And then I need some control. So let's see, I've got, yeah, th this isn't going to be enough thrust, but I, I'm just going to test it. You'll get to see some uh, some fails, so I hope that's what you want to see because that's what you're gonna see. Um, so those are like my elevators, beautiful, something like this for elevator control. Ugh. Okay, um, and I think that's about it. This won't do anything. I'm just gonna launch like this. Close these save this and this is just not gonna work oh I need to get like a different staging alright so the these guys will start going to the first stage I don't want my nukes on the first quote unquote stage these come on later and then for action groups I want to grab Um, toggle engine switch mode switch mode switch switch for oh my gosh okay um no 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 I need there we go now I can uh, okay so the first thing I do is I switch the mode on them well, is that what it... Yeah, I switch the mode on all of them at the same time. And then eventually I start shutting off some of them is what I start to do. Um, so on two, I want to just grab like these ones. Toggle. 
Then for three, I'll grab these ones, toggle. Four, I'll grab these ones and toggle. Five, I'll grab these ones and toggle. Okay. All right, and this, this thing's not gonna work, but we're just gonna fly it and find out why it doesn't work. You know, oh, I need uh, something on the front here so it's not all drag. I assume it would create drag in the game, but I don't really know how the game treats that. How about that? <laughs> Is that gonna, oh, come on. Why won't that snap on? Is it going to move? Where do I want? Come on, move there. Why well, won't it attach there? What about this one? No? Let's see. Oh, I could move all this down so it's kind of at ground level. Not that it matters at all. Grab that one. Alright, so you had tons of ground clearance to the nukes. Um, I still need something on the front there. Oh, little cargo bays there. Um, you know, that's really bugging me. It should just... it should work. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do that. Um, Alright, for some reason that's... open... Okay. That is, that is a relatively Kerbal thing to do. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Ooh, <laughs> I forgot. Struts. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I hope that didn't just get... Um, Demonetized for seeing that. Revert to space plane hangar. I need struts. Um, okay. This one first before I get demonetized. All right. Strut that up. Cool. Oh, do struts overheat? I guess I just don't have a clue about that. Um, okay, and then, yeah, I should probably strut these. These are probably flopping too. Are you gonna connect? I wish I fully understood these strut mechanics. They just don't, uh, like look, it, why won't it? Okay, so it's green. See, look, I. It was acting green, and it showed a little stick, but it didn't, uh... That worked. Yeah, I just don't quite, uh, understand the Hauser whys of why they will connect sometimes and not others. Um, oh, that's where my cargo... something like that. Alright, I don't know. Call that... It's good enough to crash, so... That's all we're going to do on this flight. We got a single stage to ocean. We'll see what goes wrong. All right, what was it? Alt F12. And then um, physics arrow. Get some info on why it goes wrong. Oh my gosh. OK, uh, close that. Oh my gosh, there's no way this thing's going to get enough airspeed. Which I kind of figured, but... Alright, so I'm going to need way more engines. I'm going to need to ditch these in place of some of these. But then I don't know how I get the wings further back yet. I mean, this thing probably needs 200 meters per second to lift. I don't know what its mass is. I mean, it is getting up there. 
I'm going faster than I thought I'd be by the end of the runway. I just still don't think it's going to be enough. So we'll just watch this thing crash and burn. I'd say it needs double the airspeed. And I don't particularly want to put on those other engine types. Um, what else can I... Maybe that's just what I try. So I go to engines, find the... Um, and I don't quite think this is going to work. but Come on. Let's see. So yeah, this needs like twice the thrust. And if I ditch this, I lose my wings. And that's kind of what brought my wings to the back. I can still have most of my wings behind the engine kind of CG. Um, let's see. I need something still on the back. Is that full of fuel at problem? Let me think. So I need some sort of adapter to get down to that. And I don't think they have a hollow one. Yeah, that's got fuel in it. It's bringing a lot of fuel to the back. Which is not what I want. But I don't think I have a good way around it. Okay. So there's that. Get on another um, adapter. Blind again. All right. So there's that. More rapiers. And then I'm also going to need more nuclear, almost certainly. Um, but I'm just going to go with this and just see. It will fail. And I'll find out more about why it fails. Right now it's failing because it does not have enough thrust to weight ratio to get even close to taking off. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to get far enough to worry about these action groups. All right, and then I got to start adding the wings again. Get these guys. Really? Seriously? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, there we go. So get that. Both sides, good. Um, Call that good. And then I need some angle. It's a quick experiment to see why it doesn't work. Um, chances are it won't take off. If it does take off, I think I'm going to struggle to get it to the 450 meters per second. Oh, I need a control in this axis. Okay, and then I probably, did I lose my struts? Lord knows I'm going to need those. And get that. Okay. So it's ready for another uh, crash test. Is that a new version? I guess it is. I don't care. Git push and launch. Is that enough? Uh... Oh, is my staging all wrong? Of course it would be. Um, revert to Space Planger. Space Planger. Okay, and then I got to get all these fellas. Wait, which ones are these? Okay. Perfect. Not that it's going to work, but... Okay. I'm definitely going to need more nukes than that, but whatever. 
this thing probably needs four to eight nukes. All right, so there's that. And then there's some weird thing you got to always turn it off and then back on. All right. I still think I'm going to have plenty of air inlets, but I really don't know. Yeah, look, the speed's much better than last time. Oh, yeah, look, all my lift is... F I, I need to get my lift further back rather than the um, control. But we'll just see how this goes. Probably not well. This is about at a speed where it might have a chance. Nope. Oh, 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 nope. Okay. So... You, you could go either way. Maybe it doesn't have enough thrust to, to lift off, you know, to get enough airspeed, or maybe it just doesn't have enough wing. I'm kind of in the camp that it doesn't have enough wing. I mean, I look at this thing in real life, it just wouldn't fly, but in KSP, um, the arrow rules don't necessarily always hold particularly true. Um, so I'm going to move the wings back. Not that that's going to change much, but just starting the, moving these guys back. like that. Okay, and um, I clearly need more wing than this. Um, do I do the whole kind of floppy? I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the wings, and you can kind of double these up on each other. So I'm going to pop that there. Then pop in another one, like that. Okay. And now, if is there a way to grab both of these? Um, so if I go to move, hold shift. No. Um, I don't care. Um, so I'm just going to move this one back and move this one back like that so I'm just gonna kinda double my lift okay no this back, move this one back, and then do the same goofiness here. Like that. Move these ones back. Then I just gotta do double the rotation moves. Alright. Rotate this guy, then move it, rotate this guy, and then move it up, rotate this guy, and move it up. Good enough. Okay. And then I still need control. Um, oh my gosh. I didn't have my symmetry set. I wonder... Can I... Because as soon as I pick this, it's going to want to fly right off the vehicle. You know? Um, 
It's just the way this game... Okay, it's not as bad as I thought I didn't lose everything. Okay. So now I got those three. And then these three I think we're attaching... Um, yeah. Double check your symmetry before you place things so you don't run into this. I've done this. This is not the first time I've made that mistake. Um, all right. So, yeah, we've got more wing area. Um, and we've got those for control. I still don't think it's going to work. But we're going to go for it anyway. No Kerbals are harmed in the making of this video. I can just revert. All right, so the staging's still right. Does this ever say your weight? I don't really see anything to indicate that. Alright, I still don't think it's gonna fly well. And even once you get it flying well, you still gotta get it to, uh, you know, get up to speed, and then you gotta get it to pull out, you know, so it can actually pull up, because I've had them where you finally get the speed up and they just wanna. That was closer, right? I mean, this is, this is better than last time. Needs more lift. More cowbell. All right. So I'm going to start rotating these ones, too. Symmetry. Oh my gosh. You're killing me here. Rotate like that. I'll just rotate all three and then move because it's just so much more clicking the other way. But then the other problem too is uh, more than likely my center of gravity is so far forward, and you know my uh, control surface area is just not enough to. Let's check it. It's not that bad. It's not quite as bad as I thought, but. Chances are I need more. <laughs> it might also help to have two of these. Who knows? All right. And what do we call that good? I mean, it's not going to fly, so we'll just try it again. But yeah, I've increased my lift by probably another 50%. It's probably still not enough. All right, so we're gonna go for it again. Oh, I should have checked the the mass. This thing's just ridiculous. I mean, just looking at it, there's no way that this is good for, uh, you know, just bringing up two orange tanks. There's no way these proportions are right. But I mean, I do have these ex extra cargo things for no good reason. I could almost get away with it probably with just this and then ditch the outer cargo. All right. <laughs> Straight the heck down. Okay. With with the current amount of lift, I'm thinking this thing needs a little over 200 um meters per second, which is just not going to happen with this current design. Um, so this thing needs even more wing. And uh, I 
I've got so much mass up front. I don't know. Let's um start just popping on more wings. Why not? Okay, can we... Okay, and um, it's still not going to be enough. I can rotate this, get it more flat. I don't need so much dihedral. And then angle it up to get a little more lift. Um, this one, why not? I don't think that's how this works, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Still not going to be enough. Um, not even close. What else can I do? I mean, I, this is heavier than it needs to be, but two tons is not the make or break on this design at all. And that's heavier. Do they have any structural... Uh... I'm going back. Okay. And, um, I mean, I already know that this is not enough nuclear. I just know it's not enough nuclear. So if I grab this and um, Alt-R, was it Alt, Control-R? Okay. And then I grab this one and I go like, like that. Alt-R, okay. So one, two snaps over. Hold Alt, and then one, two snaps over. Okay, so now we've got more nukes. It, our problem is we can't even take off, and all I'm doing is really adding more weight. So that's not what's going to solve my problems. But And then I also want to shift these forward to avoid my cargo doors a bit. They're already going to be crashing anyway, but... Why not? Okay. Try it again. It's still not going to fly. Um, and if it can't even take off at 200 meters per second, I, I don't think necessarily thrust is the answer. But who knows? I'm going to do that. So yeah, I, I know that it's overkill on the... I, I don't need all this extra cargo. I'm really just trying to make something that'll get me a big orange tank up and down. And then, you know, smaller space station parts. Or at least, you know, the same size but lighter station parts. Um, but the big orange tank is the kind of killer here. I'm not going as fast as I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what the um, so lift to drag total lift I didn't I missed it. Um, where's my stats? Start is four hundred and three tons. That seems heavy. Four hundred three tons. What can I do? Could I empty these? I mean, is that gonna... I just got weight on there for nothing. Um, but that'll bring it down. And then these are empty, right? These are empty. This doesn't carry fuel at all. Um, I don't know what else I can really... do right now. I'm just going to try it again now that I reduced its mass by an eighth. I don't, I don't know exactly. I wasn't... So what? We're at 378 tons now. 
Um, and then I'll just try to watch my lift and see how high it gets at the end of the runway. Um, do, 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 total lift. So what is it? 2,000 kilonewtons is what they would call, well, a kilonewton. Total lift. Thousand, so is that one ton? But it's kill it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did that ever happen? I've never had that thing just veer off to the side before. All my engines are there, they're all on. I don't know what happened. All right, so I gotta watch that again, see if that happens again. I never saw that happen before. It just seemed out of the blue, didn't it? Okay. Um, all right. Where's my total lift? Okay, so we're just a thousand. So we're at eleven. Whoa, geez, like it just um. What would lift off right totally um, and then a wing crash but it, it's acting like I lifted off just all of a sudden the wings decide like it's the game itself that's deciding to maybe I need to turn off stability assist maybe I, I've been hitting ZT space maybe I just skip stability assist that could maybe be the problem Right, try it this way. Um, I wonder how long it takes these other guys to make this sort of stuff. I mean, they've probably had practice, you know, like uh, like Matt Lown and Hazardish and all these guys. Um, it looks easy, you know. I I have an aerospace engineering degree. Um, it just kind of looks easy on the one hand. At the same time, I know it can't be very... Look at that. Look, again. Um, this time it went the opposite side. All right, so where am I? Um, all right, I'm just like kind of adjacent to, the, to here when it happens. I don't have a clue what this is. I, I didn't touch. Maybe I need to find a time because it bounces all over. And I just do my turning early to line right up. Now I just don't touch it. I mean, I've got four big friggin' landing gear on it. All the engines are on. I'm at normal full throttle. I'm not touching any WASD. I'm going to be watching the control surfaces and the wheels. It just turns on its own. Okay. Um, maybe I've got to worry more about my wheel placement. If I can uh, move these front wheels forward, maybe I'll have more stability. And then what, if you hold shift, you can move them further? Okay. I'm sure that will solve my problems. I don't know. All right, let's, let's just try it again. Oh, I got so much other stuff I gotta be getting done. Uh, 
Look. Okay, so they don't seem quite symmetrical. Maybe that was it. I don't know. No. Oh. oh my gosh. Maybe if I use stability assist, maybe it'll be better now. I that did improve my situation. Why did I go all the way here? But um, that improved my situation at least. Um, I don't want these wheels too far back from the center of gravity, or they're not going to. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, no crap. The the CG is going to move to the back when I come to land anyway. And that CG is going to end up way back here. So these wheels actually need to move back anyway. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, they're not in the cargo area. So I'll move them back. How much further back can I bring them without being, like, quote-unquote unrealistic? Okay. We'll call that good. Try that again. Got to be getting closer, right? Maybe I'm pushing these things to the limit of their their um, how much weight they can handle. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take off stability assist. I'm gonna change one thing at a time. It does kind of want to yaw to the right. Why would it do that? I've got... I don't know. It's turning ever so slightly. Oh my gosh. So this thing is just crazy unstable. Um, because you know that time I was personally, I'm gonna try reverting the launch, and now I'm gonna try it with the uh, stability assist. I I was nudging it a little. I was tapping A and trying to yaw to the left, and uh, it didn't like that. I don't know. I didn't think that the landing gear would be the issue with this. I mean, I, I could be wrong about how the game works and everything, but maybe these back ones shouldn't steer. Maybe these ones are... Uh... Alright, I just need to pay a little attention here. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can lock the, um, maybe these back ones are pivoting. Auto strut. That doesn't seem to change anything. So it's got brakes, but those should be off. Rigid attachment, remove friction, auto control, spring damper, start retracted, lights, change name tag. I don't... How does this thing turn? Um, okay, so now... Let it stabilize. See, when I'm uh, turning, it doesn't seem to be the wheels that's turning it. Do these even turn? So what would it be? Um, maybe there's something just obvious that I'm not seeing. I mean, it seemed to be working before I did all this monkey business. But the wings... No, they're all there. 
Do I just need more wheels? I mean, they're spread out about as far as I can get them. This doesn't seem to be a yaw thing. It just suddenly snaps, right? And I don't think any amount of rudder is going to counteract. What could be causing such a crazy force that's doing that? I'm going to try moving these up a little and get a slight nose up. I can't imagine that's going to help, but I'm, I'm getting at the end of what I can think of or do here without starting a whole nother design from scratch. And I'm getting sick of starting over with this. I'll try it with the stability assist on. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how this affects my lift by the time that I start blowing up soon. Um, I think my lift is doing better than it was before on the ground. But soon it's just going to yaw and crash anyway. You can see the rudders kind of trying to... And then they switch sides. And then it just flips right around. It's like this thing flies like a tail dragger. It, it flies like it's a tail dragger or something. It just suddenly decides to, to snap around. And I mean, these wheels are spaced apart. Maybe it just needs one more friggin' wheel in the back. I don't even know. Um, so I'm going to try. See, and then when I come to land, it's just going to hit on this, but I don't care anymore. Um, pop that there. And then it also needs to move... Okay, so we'll do that. I, I don't see this helping, but it's just being, uh, it's acting weird anyway, so I might as well do weird stuff. Maybe I gotta deal with all the wheel frictions. See, but I mean, it, uh, this thing can't be aerodynamically, I mean, it, this probably isn't enough vertical stab and rudder anyway for the size of a thing, but I, I can't quite imagine what would produce such a large force that would enable it to just snap around like that. This much mass, you know, what is going to make it do that? And it's so much inertia, too. So I'm trying to nudge it to the left, but that's probably going to make it deviate to the left. And it's just going to do its usual thing here. Will the cockpit survive? That's what really matters, right? There's one of them. Uh, could that be? Or is that it? Anyway, I guess I don't care. Um, I'm basically out of ideas at this point. The, the problem can't be the rudders. I don't, I don't, is it? I, I'm going to add more rudders. I'm going to add more rudders. Go to arrow. Sort by mass. Get these big old honkers. Two of them. Okay. More rudder. Why not? All right. You know, now it ought to have enough rudder authority, you know, by eyeball. But again, this game doesn't, you know, the way, like these wings. Um, try to 
get any turning done before I get up to speed when it's gonna just do that snap roll snap yaw All right. I think I'm lined up ish okay and yeah I've got stability assist on and we'll just see what it does so it's trying to turn to the right and they're kind of reversing and there it goes so they, they do kind of notice that the problem is starting. I mean, that one better, right? That's an improvement right there. I didn't destroy the runway. I got some parts that are reusable. Right. Well, at this point, I just don't know what to do. I mean, I got the same number of wheels. They should be symmetrical. I mean, how, how many tons are these? Does this rate these things to tons? Um, mass, pressure, tolerances, stress tolerance. So what is that like? Brake torque. It, it doesn't really say. I don't see anything telling me how much weight they can handle. Oh, well, they got lights on them. That's actually kind of cool. Go away. Go away. Okay. One more. Can I. Uh... What? Should I put the wheels on the outer? I'll put on more wheels. I'll put it. Wait, are these cargo doors? I don't remember. Yeah, those are cargo doors. Um, I, I think I'm gonna start over again. Um, I've got, I've got work to do. I gotta write some code and get some features into something here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to just get these large two of these tanks up, and I just want to start building a station that can take in refueling and stuff. Um, so something's gonna hop from Minmus or the Moon and um, kind of tug around some fuel and I can start doing that. I'm, I'm building this in sandbox, but I'm going to do it in my career mode, I think. Um, but yeah, this is all I'm really trying to lift up and I've tried multiple crappy designs trying to just get this up there. These huge wings don't work. Um, I don't know why those thumbnails aren't loading. Um, but yeah, I've gone through multiple iterations. This is, and again, I don't think these things would fly anyway, but see, but this thing's less ridiculous than that one. I just built it really long, and maybe I could shift all this forward. Maybe that's what I need to do, because this one looks better to me than the current design. But anyway, I'm going to call it, um, and yeah, I'll put more effort in at some point. I don't know when, but I do want to have an ST SSTO that can just get me like those two tanks up to orbit and then I can build a station with that. Um, but yeah, this is Keith from Kinvert and we will see you later. Bye-bye.